Hi everyone, my name is Nathyananda Babu, a technical enthusiast and solution expert. I like to welcome to my blog Nathya.org. This is my personal technical blog. This I have created to share my experience regarding architecture and enterprise solutioning. Basically, I am from Bangalore, India, currently working as a senior cloud solution architect in one of the world's biggest digital innovation agency. I have spent more than 15 years in helping many global organizations to create, manage high volume transaction enterprise systems. And I also having deep understanding with cloud technologies and open source platforms and DevOps practices. I am hoping to make this as an interactive place where readers can come to share their thoughts on software architecture. You can let me know what you liked and what you didn't or what you might be interested in seeing in future videos. Please share your thoughts via email or comments. So I am looking forward to hearing any thoughts you are willing to share. In this blog, we are going to travel across many software's problems and solutions. Trust me, we will explore a lot of things, especially doing right things with the right tools. I will make sure this blog will help you to build amazing things. Here's my personal statement about solutioning. I believe that solutioning is the biggest skill in software industry. It's not just about the coding. It's all about experience. How we are approaching the problem, how many problems you have solved in real time, what kind of considerations you have given and taken while building the stuff. I spend a lot of time in innovations, strategic development, troubleshooting, creating frameworks via hundreds of tools and softwares. It's not about the tools. Tools are just enablers. I don't like to advocate any particular technology or platform. The real mantra, as per my perception, is how you are connecting building blocks efficiently and also able to provide trade offs and choices to your customers. And also, I do not believe in just talking, I always like to be hands on. As for me, who is architect? That's a great question. It's a million dollar questions everywhere. As for me, this is my personal statement. He or she is the one who can orchestrate the client requirement to solutions. Whatever it takes, do it. Be a middleman, bridge the communications. You should know the every sparkling details about the requirement. And also, you need to act as an advocate for the team and should be a great leader and friend for the society. Before jumping to the conclusion, what is a good architecture? As per me, the production ready architectures are very important in any aspects. What is mean by production ready architecture? I, like to, I already derived your 12 important things for to become a production ready architecture. The first one is your architecture should meet functional and technical requirements. Whatever the case, the, the first criteria is whatever the BAs or product owners actually specified, your architecture should meet the requirements. Trust me, always customers are correct. The second important thing your system, your architecture should support this. The application should always be running. It should not get down or failed for some reason. It's not at all accepted. The third one is stable and reliable. Whatever the load, whatever you're doing, your system should be stable and should be able to take minimum breakfast whatever it is accepted by the benchmarks. So your system always should be stable and reliable. 
and also the your system should be highly available that means whatever the case any point of time any customers can able to contact your system to get it serviced so at no cost your system never be down or even for maintenance purpose that's what highly available and your system should be highly scalable that means whatever the load or number of requests is coming to your system should be able to scale according to the demands and should be able to string according to the demand that means your entire ecosystem should be able to extend and string at ease that's a very important property of the production ready architecture and definitely this is a very important in among all aspects your system should be secure your customer should feel this system this architecture is protecting my data that's a very important aspects the system should be secured and the performant today is every systems the response time or loading time is considered as a very important factor for the system success so your system should be able to respond very quickly for the user request and also your system your architecture should support the better utilization of resources that means in terms of reducing the cost your system should fully utilize the resources which is available to that correct maybe it may be a memory or it may be a cpu or it may be a storage or whatever it is so you should be able to fully utilize the resources and your architecture should support the better monitoring and log and error handling why it's needed it is very important for either preventive maintenance or demand maintenance or it is post maintenance is it whatever the case your system should be able to produce the logs and able to handle the errors and able to monitor properly for any betterment of the system and the next part is very very important called user experience other than this nothing is important correct the user should be feel should feel you and should able to enjoy the system that's called user experience so it is it is it is not only ui it is experience it's ergonomics of the user it might be a typography it may be a color it may be a position of the button so whatever it is the user's experiences should be very well framed and another things your system should be easily maintainable via loosely coupled architecture why it's needed your system each and every component in this figure you can see c1 and c2 is it c1 is common and one and common and two should be able to scale independently should be able to maintain that code independently should be able to deploy the code independently so this way so you can easily manage the systems very loosely coupled in manner so it may be you can use service for entire architecture or you can use some mvc kind of thing so whatever the case your system should be able to independently manageable next your system your architecture is not only to solve the problem of today it should actually design the way such a way it should able to meet the demands and the future trends as well as your architecture or application ecosystem should be able to easily marketable in a perfect time otherwise if the time goes you cannot sell your system because that the, the, the agility is going in the field of information technology and computer architecture it's a very fast it's a very fast so it's very important your system your applications should able to go in a market at right time so this is the in my as per my concern these are the 12 factors is called production ready architecture okay let's what are the principles i need to follow while designing that production ready architecture 
the first important things as good architecture should reduce the business risk associated with the building a technical solution the second one is it's not required you just to building to last you have to build the system for a change because the agility is you cannot stop it correct you change is you cannot stop it so build to change this instead of building to last so consider how the application may need to change over a time to address new requirements and challenges and build in the flexibility to support this so you should your system should support any change at any time and this is a very important factor don't try everything will be right for the first time it's not correct it cannot be consider using incremental and iterative approach to refining your architecture first start with the baseline and go to the picture and then evolve the candidate architecture as you iteratively test and improve your architecture this is very very important so nothing you cannot create the masterpiece at first time so you just go from micro to macro and it's very important aspects you have to find the fundamental parts for the architecture that is represents the greatest risk if you get them wrong don't touch it if you really don't know or if 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 you really don't know the real importance of the component please go them and understand and then derive the architecture it's very very important for in the foundational parts of the architecture and find the foundational parts of the architecture that are mostly like to change correct so what are the parts it can be easily changed and, and it's like to change frequently you just find it and based on that you find your key assumptions and also know how you are going to test the assumption because the assumption is very vague you cannot go just blindly and okay i, I assume that uh, this is what it, this is what it will going to be post condition this is what going to be preconditions so you cannot assume like that so you you should know that yes assumption is very good for time being but you should also know how to test it the first and last do not attempt to over engineer the architecture and the very important things do not make assumptions that you cannot verify i already said if you don't know the system if you don't know the you cannot derive the best architecture trust me so don't assume if you have a questions go thousand times back to the product owner what really you wanted i'm telling about the business requirement definitely you can do with better technical but it's very important to achieve that business assumptions and match with your technical things correct so these are the fundamental principles to build that good architecture and so until now we have gone through the theory part is it what kind of concepts what kind of things are this. but these are the really modern toolbars will help you to achieve that 100% production ready architecture so we are going to i'm not going to explain the entire things because it's a very huge you can see that so this is the modern architecture tool belt if you see that i have divided the architecture into three sections that is the tool belts into three sections the first first section is called primary layers the second section called intermediate layers the third section called control layer why it's defined without primary layer your system cannot be designed the intermediate layers it has to be designed in such a way it's a loosely coupled and will help help the enhances and everything the third way is to control the deployed things how we are going to manage that operation how we are going to manage the configuration how we are manage going to the high availability how we are going to manage that uh, hosting and how we are going to deploy into the cloud so these are the three important layers which i felt is very important for the architecture the first part if you say as user interaction it's a very important 
things for any aspects because the user is going to interact only with the layer. So I uh, can spell it. There are very uh, there there are many players are playing around it like Angular, React, Polymer, Bootstrap, and Dojo, jQuery, Amber, Meteor.js, ASP.NET, MVC, Swing, JavaFX, Go Web, Revel. There are many players around your interaction. So across that. So we are going to uh, do many se sessions for various things, but I'm not going to teach the tools. This is how we are going to map it to form the better architecture for different scenarios. So we're going to do one by one. So let's see, tune it. The second one is service layers. It's a very important and it's also helping us to scale the system very importantly. So there are many players around it here, the Node.js, and Go and Vertex, Web API, ASP.NET Core, Azure Service Fabric, Jersey, Dropwizard, Spring Boot, Ruby on Rails. If I miss some tools, definitely feel free to send me. These are the things I I think it's playing a role over here, but today, but please feel free to send me a mail regarding this. And another important aspect is containerization. It's very important today because I am um, not going to explain what is called virtual machines, what is called Docker containers. So um, definitely it is, a, it is going to be a play a role in this upcoming years. And this is the way to go for visualizing, sorry, virtualizing your resources. Please go through it. There are many players out there. The important player is Dockers and another place OpenShift. CoreOS project, but all the entire system is actually around Dockers. Some of the things are Rocket or some Flockers and all. It is actually another variation of the Dockers, but still trust me, entire things are going towards the Dockers ecosystem. And the next is source control and quality automation. So it's very important is a base element. Your code should be source controlled because you can go, you can roll back, you can deploy or anything. You can do it via this. And also there are many tools which you are helping to automation because the automation is only key to reduce the human errors, correct? And also only the key to produce the quality. So there are many players are there, Ecurial, Sonar, Cucumber, Casper.js, Anunit, Jnit, Specflow, Chai, and Mocha. There are many tools are available. So in the market, these are the things I felt it's playing a very important thing. And the, the main most so the, the de facto standard for communication for any device was maybe today is such a degree. But definitely it is going to change because there are many players like IoT devices and there are many online real-time stock markets are utilizing WebSocket and there are very fast uh, messaging system like MQTT, MQP, Protobuf which is in, uh, recently introduced by Google. There are many communication channels. So your system, I hope your system should support most of the channels because that you don't know the customer. The customer can be in any nook and corner of the world. So they want to use any part of that, the communication channel. So uh, your system at least supports, as of, as per me, it should be supports HTTP, WebSocket, and XMVP and QTT and all. So let's move to intermediate layers, the messaging. The messaging is the very important concept to get the loosely coupled architecture. So this is the way you can get, you can deliver the system, which is very distributed manner. So there are many players are today. So there is a Apache Kafka and RabbitMQ and ZeroMQ, ActiveMQ, Apache QPD, OpenMQ, MQDD, NatsIO, and the SQS Azure Service Bus. So there, there are the plenty of players are there in a messaging system. Even uh, Microsoft MSMQ, and you can see that uh, um, AWS also pro providing the Service Bus queues and uh, SQS. So there are many players are there in that, and the, and but definitely it should be a part of your architecture. I as per me, because uh, now I think every system is actually utilizing a messaging, but uh, but the world legacy is not that much leverage that messaging. It's very important your system should be distributed and should be 100% acknowledged system. 
and another comrade is search engines so uh, as of today most of that parts the, the data is vast correct so most of the components producing more data so the user want to search in a very easy way and very in deep way so these are the players are around here elastic search apache solar azure search aws search even there are another commercial product called endeka so there are many products and search engines so uh, please go through it and uh, it's very good to understand and uh, there is a recently the health stack is pitching in more areas even aws uh, search is actually based on apache solar so uh, it is if you understand one product you can easily understand others so please pitch in it the next important the next error database system as no sql correct so now no sql supports many different in document based document based key value based graph based and even hash based many things is available so as there are important players mongodb hbase redis cassandra couchbase react hgfs hbase memsql so please go through it anyway the course of actions we are going to see everything and this is a, another important component called cache if you want to get the real performance of the system you cannot just behind your database or just behind your contents right so some way the system should be performed immediately correct so the data should be able to get the data very quickly from cache so uh, we are going to so I have played many areas uh, in those uh, components so the many players are around here so you can see redis you can see varnish memcached os cache eh cache infinispan terracotta and flask cache so it's very important to understand the cache because that i think it's a, it's also integral it should be integral part of the any system where that data readability is important next is the one and one solo hero is big data analytics the billions of data terabytes of data is produced by each system so for example um, if you take today's actually IoT is evolving and there are many cloud systems evolving the every component is going to produce the enormous amount of data to the system how are you going to analyze this see this one all about this big data analytics part so there are many players around here the primary players had open spark and then there are many players are coming strom is actually is actually equivalent to spark and then uh, there are many uh, ITL system is there, Flume, Scoop, Fade, and Beam. That is another beast which is coming for actually. It's kind of a pre compiler for end a program. Whether it can understand the scale, it can understand that different algorithms. So it's it's all about. And um, there are many schedule schedulers are like Mesos, like Yarn, um, Zepp, uh, Zeppelin is actually interactive uh, like querying tool for big data. Drill is also interactive querying tool with data. How was actually is totally changed that paradigm of how to query uh, in then with the native of five SQL and uh, Q and all. So uh, yeah, uh, it's very important. Uh, I think th this is going to be a big role in that uh, society um, for any case actually. So please switch into that big data analytics. Now let's jump into the control layers. So very important to run the business continuity, correct? So business continuity is always important because that is producing the revenues. So uh, in, the, in that important, it's a logging and monitoring is, as per me, it's actually utmost important because it's it's helping us to identifying post condition, preconditions of the system. Once, and there are many players uh, available. So um, we can see that X stack, log for net, Splunk, New Relic, App Dynamics, and the Status D and Stats D and the Collect D is Linux based, and Logstash is actually playing that Elk uh, network. 
and yeah this is a very important uh, logging frameworks and it's helping us to every day and uh, yeah so we can see uh, each and everything is in action in upcoming series the next is high availability as i told already the production ready system should always available and scalable at any cost right so there are many players uh, uh, this nginx hachi proxy keep alive d heartbeat Synapse, Smart Stack, Console, Zuki, Play, ATCD. These are the very important. So I have played more things in this area. So definitely I can help you out for going it. And config and deployment. This is uh, the important aspects of your system should be live, correct? So how we are going to deploy, how we are going to Im implement CI CD by these tool belts only. So there are many players, Chef, Puppet, Ansible, Salt, ETCD, Zookeeper, Flannel, Terraform, Zenkits, everything we are going to play and each and every things uh, in this building blocks we are going to play. Now uh, fast I have played in vast variety of uh, variety of tools in this block. So we can play it. I will help you and also please let me know if you can help me out because I didn't play every each and every tool but we can play all together to form the better architecture and the cloud is the de facto standard for deployment correct like uh, so this is actually uh, given play as you go pay as you go which is actually how much you actually utilizing the resources you have to pay for it so you don't require to require hardware and getting approvals and all nothing so just go and deploy your servers and work and come back and put it in the pool and the pay just what you used so there are many players are there um, particularly azure and google cloud and aws and hiroku and openstack openshift the open shop and the open stack is another paradigm it's actually uh, emphasizing a private cloud you can form that your cloud in your uh, own infrastructure and uh, also you can host your things in ubuntu server fedora and centos and coreos so uh, we are going to play it and also that there are plenty of tools that are going to help you to maintain the resources like mesos marathon decos flannel it's there are more uh, things to understand so the following series we are going to understand each and every components and put uh, put it in that i'm not going to teach the tools i'm going to teach that how we how we can do the better solutioning for the particular problems correct so let's see um, how it goes Okay, please join me in this travel. So it's my personal try to give it back to the, give back my experience to the society. And it's not about the business. I'm not going to talk anything about the business. It's just a technical exploration and fully hands-on workshops. And you can see the code um, whatever the things I'm going to put it, I'm going to put in open source as open source. You can go and get the code from HTTPS github.com slash Nithyananda. And also please sign up for the newsletter in this thing. HTTP or double slash Nithya.org slash sign up. So every day 12 o'clock, the mail will be fired with whatever the articles which is presented today. And if you want to communicate, interact with me, please in, produce your comments in your every article or please send me the mail info at the rate nithya.org. I will happy to happy to reply back and please make it as a very interactive session. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.